Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams with the Good News Bible Church. Some time ago, I was invited to a meeting where a self-described evangelist spoke. It was only a matter of a few minutes before I noticed the man was not teaching the Bible or relating the good news of salvation by grace through faith. The man spoke for about an hour, but he never once used the words grace or faith. And as we believers know, grace and faith are totally necessary for salvation. In Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, the Apostle Paul writes, It is by grace that we're saved through faith, which means we must have faith in the finished work of Christ as being totally sufficient. Grace is the love he showed by paying for the sins of undeserving sinners, of which we all are. The speaker actually told of the gospel as being just the opposite of salvation, of grace through faith. He continually said that in order to be saved, one had to make Jesus the Lord of his life. After all, he said, if Jesus isn't Lord of all, he isn't Lord at all. Let's stop and think about that for a moment. Remember, Jesus is God. In the first chapter of John, we find that Jesus Christ had no beginning and will have no end, and that the world and all it contains, such as the mountains, trees, and lakes, rivers, and oceans, were all created by him. And it goes on to say that he and he alone gives life and that grace and truth came by him and not by any form of legalism or self-reformation. Again, the speaker kept saying we must do this or that, but he failed to realize that Jesus had done it all for us. Matthew 5.17 tells us that Christ has fulfilled the law because we as humans are not able to. This so-called evangelist, along with many others, are saying that salvation is by giving of ourselves to Jesus, when really it's by receiving a gift from him. There's nothing humanly possible that anyone could give our Savior to make us susceptible to God. Faith in the sufficiency of Christ's work saves, and it is all that God will accept. By saying that one must make Jesus Lord of his or her life, he's implying that one could become good enough by their own doing to be allowed into God's sinless heaven. This in itself is nothing short of blasphemy, and it shows a lack of Bible knowledge. Titus 3, 5, and 6 says it is not by works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy. And again in Ephesians 2 and verse 8, it affirms that salvation is a gift. And because it is a gift, it cannot be taken away from us. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a gift. As I have previously stated, when someone preaches a message of works for salvation, they are preaching an accursed message. The Apostle Paul tells us in Galatians 1.8 that if anyone, even an angel from heaven, were to preach an accursed message, they should be accursed. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul talks about the natural man. The natural man is someone who hasn't trusted Jesus Christ as a Savior, and thereby they are not indwelt by the Holy Spirit. Paul goes on to say that without the Holy Spirit indwelling them, they are unable to understand the things of God and cannot understand grace. Proverbs 14:12 says, There's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It's true that all of our lives we have been taught to earn whatever we acquire. But God tells us in Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9, that his ways are not our ways, and his ways are much higher than ours. Man needs to recognize himself as being a helpless, bankrupt sinner, and as such we are totally unable to achieve perfection, and we must be perfect to enter heaven. So when we trust Jesus Christ alone, his perfection is put to our account. The veil of sin was torn down when Christ died on the cross, and now we can have fellowship with God our Father. This was all accomplished by Jesus Christ. In closing, is it possible to make Jesus Lord of all? He already is. We cannot make him Lord of our lives, but by faith in his finished work, we are made part of his body and will always be. This has been Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. May the grace and love of God become more and more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening.